So we've made our caldo talpleño, and now we're gonna taste it. This is a first for both Judy and I, mm -hmm. so we're gonna see what it's like, and um, and we'll ch keep chatting about your life. Okay. <laughs> so you can put um, aguacate, avocado, um, queso fresco, mm -hmm. or lime, and you can also do chipotle. And um, we can always eat it with a tortilla. Oh. So I'm gonna take some lime. Yeah, I'll add some avocado. And hopefully it's as good as I think it'll be. It smells delicious. Yeah. I am excited. Because I travel and work from home, sometimes uh -huh. my meals are a little sad. Oh, I'm sorry. You can always come over here. Yes. Now that I know. So the soup was great. I liked it. Did it you? was delicious. Yeah. And it had a really nice kick to it. Yeah, it did. I think maybe next time when I make it, I'll only put one chipotle. Because it was a little spicy for me. But, you know, you Mexican people love that stuff, though. We do. <laughs> Just kidding with you. So tell me, what... What is ahead for you? What do you think? I mean, after working outreach with the Latino Commission on AIDS, what do you think will be next for you in the next 10 years or so? For now, you know, I'm hoping that I will still be working in the community. Um, I'll still be working in the Southeast because I love the weather, the people, um, and the food is so much better yes. than... It's very good food in the <laughs> South. Than, than in other places. Right. So um, maybe maybe someplace warmer, maybe like Louisiana. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think of the challenges for the Latinx community coming up in the next five, 10 years? I think that for the Latinx community, we have a lot of challenges ahead. This administration is, is going, is giving us the fight for our lives, I think. Um, and they're doing it in a way where there are so many, um, barriers and, um, we have been bombarded with so many things. I think, um, the fight for clean water and the Dakota Access Pipeline, um, I think that marks one of the biggest fights for our generation. Mm -hmm. And it's something that uh, will go down in history as, as one of the largest movements, I believe. Um, and it's not even over. Like We thought we had um, one in, in solidarity with our Native American brother and sisters, but um, you know they need us now more than ever. You're, yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Now, what do you think are the the challenges for the young Latinos, the millennial Latinos. Maybe what are the positive things that the millennials will bring to the next few years? I think that each generation has its right to shape how our country looks and how our society works. And there's going to be resistance. I think that that's what the biggest um, uh, you know, argument that there is, is that mm -hmm. um, the way we're doing things is not the way other generations would have done it, or um, there's this this idea that we're, we're doing things wrong, um, but in comparison, we're doing things. Right. I, I think that's one of the, the biggest differences that we have social media, um, and that is something, you know, Facebook started in 2004. Uh, my first year in college mm -hmm. and so we have grown up with social media there are um, young people today who have never known a world without social media um, there are children today who don't know that when you call someone you're supposed to put the phone to your ear and not hold it out to your face my <laughs> nephews <laughs> who are very little think that all phone calls are FaceTime calls. Mm. So I think that as um, these changes are not happening in a vacuum, and mm -hmm. so there's definitely going to be resistance, but um, 
I, I think it's also a challenge for other generations to um, try to see where we're coming from and, mm -hmm. and you know, support some of these ideals that we have. Um, where we don't, where we believe in equal pay, we don't believe um, women should be paid less mm -hmm. um, than men, where many of us are not planning to have children. I think that is, we are changing the way American families look um, with gay marriage, with um, new terms like Latinx, where you have people who are gender non-conforming. Right. I think we are moving into an era that is very uncomfortable for many people, but you know, our, our, I think we have every right to define how we want to live and um, where we want to see the world go. And it may be that it's uncomfortable for other generations, but it is comfortable for yours. Right. And, and I think that's what's happening. Even though there are people, young people with maybe more conservative viewpoints, some with progressive viewpoints, it, there are certain things that, you know, are not uncommon. And um, one of those is that many of us are graduating with debt um, and there just aren't enough jobs and we are over-educated and over-qualified. Um, and that's just something that um, I think other generations need to recognize or our legislative leaders need to recognize that, you know, you have this workforce that because there wasn't this investment in um, more technical skills, Correct. Mm -hmm. um, we, we are going to see a lot of these trades um, kind of phase off if there's not an investment. And so that's also a great opportunity. I mean, you have a lot of young people who, you know, would be able to learn a trade. Right. And it's just not something that's And they may be just as happy to do a trade right. than they would be to be a computer analyst or whatever. Right. But I mean, these trades are, are being lost. Judy, do you have any political aspirations? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think that right now, um, because of my involvement in the community, the community work that I do, uh, the adding... Uh, political office or thinking about a campaign um, is a little overwhelming right now. But I encourage others to, yeah. <laughs> to run and to run often. Well, that's good. Well, I've had a wonderful time. We tried something new and it was great. It came out really good. It was delicious. <laughs> it was delicious. Thank you for cooking with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I'm Lisette Cruz Watko. Thank you for watching. See you next time here on Lisette Invita. Hey guys, don't forget to like this page and follow us on social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!